still fly, I'm still fly, I know I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go Hey guys, I'm Emma. Hey guys, I'm John, and we're Emma and John, you're welcome. Welcome back if you've been here before, and if you're brand new, hello. Welcome. So today we're at Caldercott Castle. We are, we're back here. Yeah, we were here <laughs> last week for the food festival. We was, that was amazing, so go and check out the video if you want to see that. Yeah, and we thought we'd come back and learn a little bit about the history yeah. of the castle. I'm excited. We've got some lunch. Yes. We're going to find a bench, yes. and then we're going to find some history. Yes. <laughs> Just before we head into the castle, we wanted to mention they do have a tea room. They do, and toilets. They have toilets <laughs> in the castle, and also some in the grounds. I think they close fairly early. Like yeah. Four or five. Yeah, I think so. They were locked last week. Yeah. Um, but inside, just, while yes. they're open, they'll yeah, be use open. Them. Um, you can get cake as well, I think. Mm. Of course. Yeah, they do like <laughs> tea and things like that. Yeah. Um, and also, there's parking. The parking is free. Or oh, tons of parking. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and disabled parking too. But we thought that might be important to know. Absolutely. <laughs> The drawbridge. Is it a drawbridge or it used to be? That's a moat, isn't it? Again? Yeah. This is a drawbridge, it used to be. That's pretty cool, that. We popped into Asda to grab some food. So we've got John to show you that. Got some noodles and chicken. Noodle, pasta, no, chicken, pasta, salad. Yeah. And that some good, sushi and some melon and we picked up these handy, pretty awesome. handy little cutlery <laughs> sets um, which they were a pound but how great is that because it can just go in my bag all the time yeah I like that and we just don't use them yeah <laughs> and I might have to put a sticker on mine and we've got some sushi tiny 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 bit of sushi <laughs> but yeah I'm happy with that we always have good food here you do <laughs> how awesome is this scene is that I mean, this cool is one. our lunch for you I mean we were here last week but you couldn't see it as well. No, it was awesome that Yeah. Way. But yeah, you, you can take in the castle more. Yeah. I'm excited to learn about it. I am. I want to go up there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just had lunch and now he came into the first room of the castle. Yeah, and you can get married here at Caldercott and I think... Hey. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that might be where they do it. There's not many people though. No. To watch you. You have to have no friends. <laughs> That'd be cool, right? Yeah. What's your secret moment in the castle? Ooh. No, we're not allowed that way. <laughs> that would be a cool backdrop for a wedding, though. Probably, yeah. <laughs> John thinking he's the king and we're the sorry people. <laughs> Look at the crests on there. I don't know if you can see them at the Oh, yeah. It's kind of a, is it a swan or a goose? Yeah, a, swan. a swan in the yeah. crown. That's pretty cool. Mm. <laughs> Look how many cushions they've got. <laughs> okay, exploring. Excuse the shades, it's very sunny. <laughs> um, so this has been a castle that has housed people for 800 years or so. So during the Second World War, they turned the keep and the tower into apartment blocks to solve the housing problem, which is super cool. Amazing, yeah. Yeah, um, it was restored by this guy, Joseph Cobb. Can you see him? In 1885, and if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be able to see the castle looking so beautiful. So he's an awesome dude. I like it. <laughs> so we're going to head inside, yeah. learn a little bit more about Joseph Cobb. We've just done that bit, yeah. now we're going in that bit there. Yes. <laughs> we start off with lots of stairs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know if you can tell <laughs> on the camera, happen. but it's, these are not stairs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Cobb restored this castle in 1855 along with two other castles in Wales. This castle is awesome because it's a mixture of old and new. There's a lot of original and it feels fairly modern as well. This bit does anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the banqueting hall. That's pretty cool that. More wine please sir. <laughs> <laughs> Personal wedding's happening here I guess. Yeah maybe. More room. The King and the Queen chair look. Yeah, that's awesome. I wondered how long it would be until John picked up a shield. Where's my sword? Sorry, I got a bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the kind of things they would eat. Fish and pies and piggies. I'm happy with that. 
What's that? Guinea pig? It's um, probably like quail or Oh, maybe. Yeah. We've got a fancy dress car now. No. This definitely looks like somebody has lived here more modern, in more modern times. Nice, John, well done. <laughs> you can see that uh, it would have carried on into like a hall, maybe. Yeah. And you've got like holes for the beans and then where there's a little crow up there you can see it walking <laughs> along the wall. Well I don't know if the <clears throat> bottom ones would have been cannons. Yeah, probably. Might have been. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the top ones would have been beams. Well there you can see how it was built just kind of like shoved in there. <laughs> it worked though. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of like how they make walls in like isn't it like outside houses? Yeah. yeah. Just kind of shove them in there. Fireplace. <laughs> Look at this cool bench. That is cool. I can see the oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's amazing. And there, um, I assume that's their coat of arms then. And you've got something in Welsh. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a fireplace. No, it not. It's got a window. <laughs> I wonder if this was a drawbridge, where yeah. the drawbridge was. I wouldn't imagine this was a drawbridge actually. Yeah, it's low and also not at the front. Could have been a secret entrance. Yeah. <laughs> the spies. Are you up to Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been an option. Oh, definitely. Yeah. See, I know it's been before, but you can't see nothing. But is it kind of like when you have guns now and you look through the, what's it called? The scope. Yeah. But even so, you still can't see. I mean, it's good for protection, but how are you firing through that? There's some people coming. Can you see them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're frightening me then. <laughs> <laughs> It's a scary little room, isn't it? So Caldecott Castle has longly been recognised for its strategic placement. The Romans loved it here because they could see over the Bristol Channel, which means they could see boats coming in, it was easy to get things transported to here and they could kind of protect the area. In 1086, the Normans built the Mott, what was basically a big mound, to make the baileys higher so you could see out to sea. Then, amazing. Yeah, and then they were able to kind of secure and protect this whole part of yeah. Wales. And you can see how high it is. We go up there in a minute. But like I said earlier, you can just see out to sea. Yeah, hopefully. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> um, that's quite a big engineering feat, really, back in the day. Yeah, and they've got some honeybees. Cute. Beware, honeybees. Beware, beware. <laughs> <laughs> We sit on the, the mop now. Yeah. The mound. Right basically. where it says danger, don't stand on the bank. Yeah, we still like it. <laughs> I would like my portrait done like that. <laughs> so all the furniture in here is from the 17th century. Yeah. And proper stuff. I mean that's gonna be proper heavy. Don't don't lift the table. <laughs> proper table. <laughs> <laughs> and the chandelier too and oh, the chaise longue <laughs> there. Cool. I love the clock. Yeah. Is that the way? I like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I like it could be annoying. It's making me like... <laughs> <laughs> so this room is laid out like a Victorian bedroom. That can't be their proper bed. Yeah. It's yeah. Not, that's not small. It's not. <laughs> Guess what that was used for? 
Um, I don't know. To shield them from the sun. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Awesome, yeah. We're going out to see more, but that's bad for me. Um, just uh, must have been like a dusty hole, cubby hole bit. We know it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> it feels awesome up there. Go see. <laughs> the sea is just by bridges. Go on then. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we just done that tower. That was amazing. Yeah, it was cool. The views from the top was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, they were really just, cool. The, the, the steps the stairs are, steep. are windy and skinny. <laughs> yeah. But that was awesome. Yeah, it was. So now we're gonna go over there. out the big guns. Slightly bigger than at Bowood. <laughs> they are, yeah. That's facing the, at the entrance. <laughs> that makes more sense. Well, not really, because it's going to knock our, oh, yeah. our gate off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to be outside. <laughs> We're together. I was trying to show you the crows keep going in and out of the holes, but the second I tried to show you, <laughs> the crows have all disappeared. We've got another beehive there yeah, as well. That, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Though, it? It's cool, but it's scary also. Quite bees. <laughs> yeah. They don't hurt you. They don't hurt you. <laughs> wow. That's pretty awesome. So we are. Oh, I don't know. Um. Somewhere here. Yeah. I think, but we also could be there, but I think, um. oh no, no we're not, yeah we must be here somewhere, because that's the ocean, <laughs> so we must be here somewhere, there's Chepstow Road, yeah, so that's it. Yeah. we're here <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> figured it out though. <laughs> This is one of the rooms people would have lived in during the war. It's small. It is small. I would imagine there'd be quite a lot of people in one room. Yeah. But, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool they've done that. Yeah. John found the loo. We always say you, you know. <laughs> Secret entrance. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Look <Wake> up. <laughs> it's cool tunnel. Though. It is cool. <laughs> I really like these windows. I think they're really pretty. I like the shape of them. Yeah. I like cool. that one there. Look. I love all the walls in that. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Before the Normans built the castle. There would have been a Saxon castle. Yeah, so it's essentially been three castles here. That's amazing. Like a Saxon yeah. one that's gone now, a Norman one that probably is bits of this one. Yeah. And then the one that that's was amazing. built. In... I think we've pretty much done in the castle bit now. Yes. So I think we're just going to take a lap around and um, that'll be it. Yeah. 
So the castle is surrounded by parkland. There's quite a lot of walks you can do and stuff like that. We've decided to step into the moat. Because <laughs> look at the view. Yeah, that's, that's, you would see it that way. No, the footpath goes around yeah. past the moat. So we're going in the moat. So if we did this back in the day... Alligators, dragons, octopus. We've been very spanny. Yeah, we are so stinky. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Rapunzel's tower from here. <laughs> it does a bit. <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, <laughs> let down your hair so I can climb without a stir. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly what Rapunzel's tower would look like, I think. Yeah. And that there is the tunnel that John went to <laughs> earlier. So some of these walls would have been nine feet wide. Yes. How mad's that? That's, that's unbelievable. It's a big Nine brick, feet. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> castle's surrounded by like trees like this. Do you think they're as old as the castle? Um, probably some of them are, yeah. It must be pretty old. That looks like it's damaged by wind or... Yeah. <laughs> the cool thing about this tower, <laughs> and the interesting thing that makes it different to other towers on different castles, is that it's actually four stories tall. But there's only two stories inside the tower. That's pretty awesome, that. Yeah. I mean, when it was inside the castle, it didn't feel that no. big. Because obviously it was built up. Yeah. Um, but now it feels really tall. So inside this bit here, yeah. the grassy bit, is um, a dungeon. Yeah. That's amazing. That's where you go <laughs> when you've been bad. But it's cool to think that in there is things. Absolutely. That would have been what they built, was it called? The Mot. The Mot. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a Mot there, to make yeah. it obviously higher, higher. what you can see clearly now. Yeah, because otherwise they would have had to have built from the ground. Yeah. Well, it's not that impressive these days, but back <laughs> then, that would have been quite impressive, cool, really, yeah. yeah. That was our day at Caldecott Castle. Yeah, that was awesome. We enjoyed that. Yeah, it's a cool one to come and chill and explore. There's not many information boards around. No, go and do your research before you come. Yeah. Um, yeah, the other one's better for that. Chepstow Castle, but this one is free and Chepstow Castle isn't. Yeah, so, that's what you pay for. Yeah. But this one's really cool because there's little benches around, you can have picnics, there's yeah. plenty of places to chill out. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, and like Emma said, it's free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so we hope you've enjoyed exploring uh, Caldecott Castle yeah. with us. If you have, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next Absolutely. one. Absolutely, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.